cannot hide. Back in the action. Feel my blade. <laughs> You fight like a noob. I am Batman. Because it is awesome. $1.4 billion vanity project. It may incinerate on takeoff, but I'll look damn good doing it. All systems are in the green, sir. But I must warn you, a large storm system has moved into your direct flight path. Never rains, but it pours. Well, we can't wait any longer. Tony, I loaded up some music to give you a little boost. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not mine. You can do this. Thanks, kid. Okay. Three, two, one. Juice left in these repulsors. Hopefully, this place isn't crawling with guards. Surprised these are even working anymore after ripping open that door. See what we got. Wait a minute. Well, this doesn't make sense. Regenerative formula. That'll explain Tarleton's giant head. That's its source. Probably some unfortunate inhuman. Okay, let's find that door. No sweat. Rescue that inhuman. No more regen formula, no more adaptoids. High fives all around. Escape pods behind a locked door. That didn't raise any flags for anyone?
Knock, knock. Anyone home? Covered in space dust, this place does not get a lot of foot traffic. Just a little hack through this next door without waking anybody up. Unauthorized life form detected. Oh, hey! You mean me. That didn't wake up the Robo Guards. Not sure anything will. Crashing through their airlock didn't wake up the robot guard dogs. Maybe they're here to keep something in, not out. Bingo. It's not ominous at all. You're alive. Tony. What are you... What is all this stuff? Where am I? Yes. Tony? Are you hugging me? What? No. I just didn't want you to fall. Then why aren't you letting go? I just... We thought... I mean, I thought that... Good to have you back, Captain. I'm so confused. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. 
Did he survive? Talton? Who cares? What? The explosion, he was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, well, we find an escape pod and, uh, escape. You're winging this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. <laughs> Tony, where is everyone? Where's here? Oh, well, we're in space. My God. You weren't kidding. <laughs> nope. Riding a bike, I guess. It's down from here. You ready to jump? Tony, what's what's happening? Well, it's a long story. How long was I? Well, five years. Which, by your standards, is just a power nap. Starting to think people just prefer me on ice. See? You're already making jokes. Corny, ones, but that's normal for you. Captain Rogers. What is this? Don't leave us just yet. Monica! Long time no see. Can't imagine your buddy Tarleton was too thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing. Now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this. And he never will. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Uh-oh. I think we made her mad. Tony! I'm working on it! All right, got it. Let's go. What the hell? Oh, don't mind the killer robots. Hurry! Get it open! I'm trying! For a dead guy, you're really pushing! I have to brute force this thing. Why didn't you start with that?
Yeah, we get it, shit! is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. <sighs> well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. Since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. your regenerative formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. You saved your life. You can control machines with your mind. Just think of you all You infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now... I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> I will rip the Earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. She hurts you. friend. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? Ade. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. But, <sighs> but that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. 
The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Ned, I... I just keep thinking. If I hadn't... All those people... No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it. I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final confrontation with AIM. I have completed my analysis of Mr. Stark's plans to equip the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and will need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP. Nat, I gotta say, I wasn't surprised you never gave up fighting. Didn't happen without a few stumbles. I almost lost my way like the others. Well, you're here now. I feel better knowing you've got our backs. You know, I always thought your suit was a little over the top, but I have to admit, you make it work. Thanks, Nat. Um, Captain America? Wow, okay. I never, ever thought I'd actually get to work with you. Can I say that again? <laughs> well, I'm just a regular Joe from Brooklyn. All uh, right. <laughs> just a regular Captain America. <laughs> I wanted to say thanks. Uh, what for? Well, sounds to me like you're the reason the Avengers are back. And that I'm standing here right now, so... So I wanted to thank you for that. Sure thing. I mean, happy to, um, assemble the Avengers. <laughs> Anytime. So, you ready for this? Yeah. I, I mean, no. 
Sort of. That feeling never really goes away. You just have to trust yourself and know we'll have your back when you need it. Thanks. Commander Hill, AIM's been spreading their lies about the Resistance for way too long. It has to stop. It's time we replace their poisonous lies with the truth. But their satellite array is vast. As long as that network is in place, they'll control the narrative. Jarvis has identified several AIM satellite hubs that control their communications. I see what you're thinking. If we can take one out, their network would collapse. At least for a few hours. We'd be able to send messages to the entire Resistance. Temporarily. So we'll have to make every word we broadcast count. Well, we don't have any weapons strong enough to take out a satellite, so what's the play? The satellite is connected to Earth by a massive space elevator. That's how we'll get up there. The first thing you'll have to do is acquire the launch code for this space elevator. That'll be risky. It'll be worth it, Hill. The Resistance is still fragile. We need a way to organize our forces. Open lines of communications will be critical. I assume you know where to find a set of codes? Jarvis did some digging. A local AIM base commander has some, so we're gonna pay them a visit. Let's go get those launch codes. Watch out! The chest with gear close by. Don't let them intimidate you! Never learn. How you doing? Good, fine. Okay, maybe a little nervous. Formidable. But we prevail. <laughs> Right. We got company. Okay, I think that was all of them for the time being.
The one in the central area. Yes. Let's get his attention. another bag. is controlled by a multi-point authentication system powered by three junction boxes. Jarvis will need control of them to fake the authentication to get you inside. Why can't it ever be easy? There is a chest with special resources close to your location. Sir, AIM is now on full alert. You should expect heavy resistance at the transport center. Now or never, Cap. Better get to that elevator before they shut the thing down entirely. One of our resistance allies is close by and could use some help. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
We can't let them shut down the elevator. <laughs> to the three junctions keeping the security system locked down so Jarvis can get inside. AIM's gonna try to kick him out, so you'll need to keep their forces. <laughs> Ones and zeros he's spitting out seem promising, but we need to keep control of the junctions. All right, Jarvis is going to start now. locks on the elevator have been disabled. You're clear to go, Cap. All right, this is it. One super long elevator ride, coming in. A warning, sir. This is going to be a rather rocky ride. Oh. Everyone hold on. Incredible. No telling what kind of defenses this satellite has. We get in, set the place to self-destruct, and then get the hell out. Clear? Crystal. Detecting multiple enemies coming online now. What's the plan? Fight our way to the central hub and overload their power system. Find the console to open the central hub's doors. Uh, 
enemies have fallen. AIM really likes redundancies, don't they? They do. You gotta take everything down or that satellite will stay up. Standing by, Cap. As soon as you take the satellite out, we'll send out a message as wide as possible. the message certainly sir this is captain america to anyone out there resisting the tyranny of aim to everyone who's scared or doesn't know where to turn the avengers are back and we won't let you down again fellow americans we're here where protesters have gathered in response to a nationwide threat to our freedom this morning, the heads of all major military agencies were held under duress by AIM's new adaptoids. 
Panic erupted when many awoke to large aim gunships hovering above our major cities. As the military begins to mobilize, a tense standoff has gripped the nation. Of course. That's my tech. That's is my cloaking tech. Wait a minute. Something's happening. <laughs> Sir, I'm receiving a distress call from a resistance sanctuary in New York. Ames trying to draw us out. If we rescue them, it'll look like we're attacking. It doesn't matter what it looks like. We see someone who needs help, and we help. So you do what you need to do. We're leaving at dawn. Hey, Cap. I got Pim to send us what he has on New York if you want to take a look. Meet me in the tech lab. On my way. All right, Nat. What have we got? Turns out Pim has been tracking that thing since it showed up in the sky. It doesn't seem to follow a set route, so we can't anticipate its movements. His best guess is that it responds to activity alerts from Ames agents, coupled with its own sensors. It's gonna see us coming. Probably. The Resistance will feed us their data, so we'll have intel on its location at all times. That should at least give us a leg up. Great. Get the Quinjet set up. I want to be ready for takeoff ASAP. Consider it done. <laughs> 